Alright, so here we are back at Martinsville. Obviously, you've raced here quite a few times. You've had some good moments here. So, yep. what is it like to be here at Martinsville? I, I bet it's a really special track for you. Yeah, um, you know, anytime you come to a short track, it kind of brings everybody back, everybody back to their uh, racing, you know, grassroots racing. So, uh, I love this racetrack, honestly. Um, you know, we finished 10th here before, um, but our, our finishes haven't showed how good we actually have been. Um, you know, we, we should have finished, uh, I know, know of two times, probably six, seven, eight, you know, somewhere around there, which is pretty good for our race team. So, um, excited to work with uh, Young's Motorsports for the full season. Um, you know, they're, they're a great group of guys. I got Chad Kendrick, uh, crew chief, and then uh, me and him just seem like we click pretty good right now. So, um, I'm excited to see, you know, how, how the race unfolds if we get it in with all this rain coming. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Uh, fighting a little tight condition right now, but um, I think we'll, we'll get it better and uh, be ready for the race. Yeah. You made your debut here back in 2014, like quite a few laps that day, your first ever laps. Um, quite a few guys are making their debuts this weekend. You know what it's like to come into a track like this for the first time, so what do you think they're in for? I mean, what were you in for when you did it? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you have a lot of you have a lot of butterflies you know it's your first race at this big of a stage this big of a level in nascar so um you're definitely a little nervous you know you're you're excited at the same time but um the biggest thing is just completing all the laps you you want to complete all 250 laps um that's the number one goal and then um other than that you know just keeping the fenders on it you know um and as long as you stay out of all the wreck you stay out of all the the stuff that happens on the track you don't have any pit stops that go go really bad um, and don't go your way then um, you can you can have a good finish here there's gonna be a lot of guys wreck out tomorrow I'm sure um, you know you, you see it time and time again at this racetrack uh, somebody gets impatient then they get into that guy and then the next thing you know there's four or five truck pile up so uh, you know we'll we'll see though um, I'm excited to see these guys, you know, they're making their debuts here. Actually, my teammate, he's, he's making his debut, and um, he was pretty decent off the trailer. I think he was fighting a tight condition as well, but, um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So when you come back to a track like this, you just mentioned how much you know about this place and what it takes. When you hit this track and you come back, does it really hit you what, how much you've learned? Because you came in here not knowing a whole lot about the truck series, and now you know so much, you have so much experience now. Yeah, when you come to a racetrack two, three, four, you know, five times, um, you start to you start to pick out a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of characteristics of the racetrack. Um, you know, right when you you unload, what you're trying to feel. You know, you know what you want the truck to do, so it, it'll be good in a long run at a race here. Um, a lot of these guys that is their first time, like myself back in 2014, I didn't know how the truck was going to react. 50, 60, 70 laps into a green flag run. So you're kind of leaning on your crew chief a little bit, stuff like that. So, um, you know, having the knowledge that I have now coming into this race, I kind of know what, what the track's supposed to do um, on a long green flag run. So I kind of kind of adjust for it during practice, try to get my truck that much better for a long green flag run. Um, and you, you just got to kind of balance it because if, if you're good on long runs, a lot of the times you're not good on short runs. So kind of got to, balance that a little bit because i'm sure sure tomorrow they'll, they'll you'll see some guy or you'll see some long green flag runs you know a lot of guys are going to be patient right when the green flag drops you're going to see some guys doing a lot of give and take so um yeah coming to a racetrack any racetrack you come to that you've been to four or five times it definitely um gives you a lot of knowledge you're you're a lot more confident you know when you go out on the racetrack um as far as that and you know when, when i go to a new track this year since I'm running the full season when I go to one of those new tracks like a, like a Kansas or something I'm not going to know what it's going to do you know come race time so I'm going to kind of lean on my crew chief a lot um, you know and try to gauge off of him what he, he thinks and um, go from there yeah your experience has paid off coming into this year you mentioned now full-time finally so you've done the, these first I think it's the first time you've done three straight races in the truck series so yep. so far you know you're you're in consistent ride you know at, finally after all these years so what does it feel like you know only three races coming into the fourth but what does it feel like being into a consistent ride and being able to build yourself with one single team consistently yeah that is um, that's definitely huge um, as a driver and just as an organization being able to work with the same crew chief, being able to work with the same team week in and week out, 
Um, you know, the, like you said, the last few few years we've ran 10 to 12 truck races and that's about it. Um, so being able to do this full season, I think you're really going to see throughout the year, um, Young's Motorsports is going to get better as a group, just as a whole. Um, you know, and, and being able to run week in and week out, then as soon as you jump into that seat, you already know what you're wanting to feel. You already know what to expect when you go out on the racetrack. So um, that just helps you, that helps your team, it helps your crew chief, it helps you as a driver just be able to diagnose what's going on with the truck, um, you know, just be able to make the truck that much better going into the race. So I think you're going to see throughout the year, we're just going to slowly get better and better. And I felt like we, you know, started the season off great. Um, you know, Daytona, we had some, some fender damage that ruined our day. Atlanta, we had a good top 10 run going, yeah. and uh, on the green-white record, we had a uh, left rear tire go down on the back stretch. So, um, and then we go to Vegas, we finally get a top 10, and we should have finished better than that. We all actually had a uh, pit road penalty. So, every race we ran so far, we've had some type of issue. I think if we can run one race without any issues and on pit road, uh, a tire going down, any any damage, anything like that, I think you're really going to see what Young's Motorsports can do. I think you're going to see us creeping into that six, seven, maybe even top five, um, you know, number. So I'm excited to finally see when we get to put a whole race together and we don't have an issue, uh, what we can actually finish as a group. Yeah. And from a personal standpoint, you know, as you said, you know, a few of these guys come in and they get straight to full time, but you had to wait, I guess, you know, four or five years to get this opportunity. So personally what does it mean to be in one of the top series in nascar finally full-time uh it definitely takes a lot of weight off your shoulders i can tell you that because uh the last last few years um we've been doing it through austin hill racing so i was kind of running the company and my my dad was helping fund it a little bit and then we were also trying to go find sponsorship to help fund it on top of that so um it was very stressful because you'd come to the racetrack as a driver and an owner so it's a lot different this time around. I'm able to show up at the racetrack and have only one focus in mind, and that's just dialing that truck in, working with my crew chief, working with the team to get the truck as fast as possible. Whereas the last few years, you know, I had to make sure that the tire bill was paid. I had to make sure all this stuff was paid for. So it just takes a lot of weight off your shoulders. Um, and then also just being able to do 20 whatever races, 24 races, whatever we do this year, um, it's just going to help my experience, you know, I, like I said, running 10 or 12 races, that's, it's good and it, it helps you get, get you kind of into NASCAR, into the Camper One Truck Series, kind of get your name out there, yeah. but um, it, there's nothing like running a full season. You get so much more experience, you get to race with these guys week in and week out, so you know who you can race hard and who you can't race hard with, so um, I think throughout the year, it's definitely just going to help me as a driver. Yeah, got to tell a young back here. Obviously, he has so much experience himself. Um, you know what? What kind of role? Obviously, it's a family team with him. But what kind of role does he play with you? Um, he has that driving experience, but he's also been with this team, and he seems to have so many, so many different hands on this team. So, how has that really been helping you? And how's your relationship been with him so far? Oh man, it's been great. Tyler's a great guy. Um, you know, I I go in the race shop for the most part Monday through Friday unless something comes up. So I'm around the race team, you know, every day throughout the week, um, helping them if they need it. If they don't need it and they tell me to go on, I go on. So uh, if they need it, then that's great. But um, yeah, Tyler, working with Tyler's been, been fun. Um, you know, we're, even though I'm racing for him, we're still, you know, we're buddies, you know, all that. So, um, and he definitely, he has a lot of knowledge. He has a lot of contacts. So. Um, I've kind of been leaning on him a little bit to help out a little bit with the sponsorship yeah. side of it. So, um, but yeah, he's a great guy. He does he does anything for you. He'll do whatever he can to to make it right um, if something is wrong. So, um, I'm just excited to work with him. You know, throughout the year, yeah. full season. Yeah. And, and final question: uh, you, you said if you guys can just get a race together, you feel like you can possibly hit the top five, top six. Where? As a driver, what do you think you need to improve? You know, the team's making its own improvements, but you, with your experience, and what do you feel that you're missing on personally so far this year? Um, I'd say this year so far, um, probably getting my, which which I've, I've needed to do this for years, just getting my qualifying a little bit better. Um, seems like we're always, you know, and, and it could could be a little bit of the truck or it could just be all me, but it seems like we're always in that 15th, um, 20th range, which at Vegas we were 13th, which was, was good for us. So 
if we can start consistently qualifying in the top 12 and being in that top 12 last group to go out for qualifying, um, I think you're going to see the finishes come even better. Um, and then, you know, just throughout the race, just being, which I, I feel like I'm pretty patient, but being aggressive when I need to be aggressive. Sometimes I'm not aggressive enough. Sometimes I, if somebody cuts me off or whatever, I kind of, I kind of let it go, you know, lay back, whatever, let them in. Um, so I think I kind of need to get a little more aggressive on the racetrack, um, especially earlier in the race, get to that eighth, ninth, tenth place and then ride. Um, whereas, you know, like last year, um, you know, you don't want to wreck the truck or anything. So if, if we're running 15th, I kind of just ride right there for a little while, even though I know we have a better, better truck than what, than 15th. So, um, so yeah, just, just qualifying and then being a little more aggressive, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good thing. So, yeah, definitely appreciate it. Thanks, right, awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.